Hi everybody, Jake here for FM Scout, and today's video is going to be showcasing one of my favourite wonder kids of FM22. He's a left back who's as good going forward as he is at defending. He should be in most of your guys' saves, and even better, he has a release clause that is pretty minimal for most clubs and the kind of player that you're going to get. So with that being said, let's roll the intro and get right into it. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar. Today's Wonder Kid is one that I'm sure you're all going to love, but stick with me through the video as I show you just how we got him to the level that you're about to see. And by the way, he's pretty unplayable at his best. Before we do go and have a look at this player, I want to do the usual and ask you guys if you could like the video. It really does help in supporting the channel. January and February are quite tough months on YouTube, so any support we can get would be absolutely awesome. Drop your rating out of 10 for the player down below. As always, put your recommendations for future episodes down there as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hopefully you all enjoy the video. So you will notice we are here with Real Madrid in this save, and thankfully we don't have to switch clubs or transfer clubs because the player we're looking at plays for Real Madrid in their development center. So in one of Real Madrid's youth team or B teams, you'll find this guy, David de la Vibora. He is a young Spanish left back with a very nice set of attributes to start off with. Currently, he's more of a forward-thinking fullback. That was a tongue twister for me to say, as opposed to a defensive fullback. But he is still very good at the age of 18. And if you watch how we develop him in this simulation, you'll see how to get what I believe is the best out of this guy. Now, so you might be looking at this guy as a hot prospect at Real Madrid. You're never going to be able to prize him off Real Madrid's hands, right? Well, actually, no. De La Vibora has a release clause in this save of £2.2 .2 million. As I did mention, I've had a few of these saves loaded up, and in a lot of them, he does have this release clause. It may have fluctuated once in one of the saves, but I don't believe a release clause of this price is bad at all for the player that you're getting. He's a player with plenty of potential coming from a big club to get him for this kind of price. You can't ask for much more, but potentially you will have to act quick because his contract is getting towards the end of its expiration date and therefore Real Madrid usually offer him a deal fairly early on. So you want to get there, snap him up, before you lose him. And if you can't get him, scout him, see what he turns into in your save. He might just be a player for you guys to pick up. So what are we gonna do with this guy to get the best out of him? Well, as usual in these tests, we're using the 4 2 3 one Gagan press system that the game provides. And I've just stuck Vibora in that wing back role on the attack duty to see if we can get him a little bit further forward. Even though he already has 15 determination, he is being mentored by some of the more experienced heads at the club. I've chosen his additional focus as crossing. I want to try and get that up to as high as we can because I think with the nature of the player, he can go forward and do a lot of damage to the opposition defence. Later on, we will focus more on his defensive attributes, but for now, we should probably just exploit what he's good at in my eyes, and that is going forward and creating chances. So that's Della Vibora. I've got a 12-year simulation where he gets to 30 years old, so I'm first going to show you him on the lower side of his potential range, and then on the higher side to see what you guys might get in your saves. Okay, everybody, here we are. We've just finished our second season with Real Madrid, getting into our third season, and straight away, Della Vibora has apparently had a pretty good start with the highest average match rate in at the club. This player's potential range is 140 to 170. So if you get unlucky and get him on the lower end of it with 140 being his maximum, providing you get him to that potential, this is the kind of player you're gonna look at. This is him at a 140 current ability rating in Football Manager. And straight away we're seeing he's a physical beast who is strong and very, very quick on that left flank. Yes, he might not be a five-star player just yet, but bear in mind, he's being compared to other players at Real Madrid and he has been pretty good for us like you'll see in a few seconds. Mentally, he's developed really nicely with some good mental attributes all across the board, not lacking in too many areas, and a lot of them are at a very nice level. And then technically is where he shines with great crossing, dribbling, passing, technique, and now he's tackling and marking, as well as his first touch, are also at pretty decent levels. So Della Vibora has been turning into a very nice player, and he has been performing even better, because in that first season, he struggled a little bit getting into the side, but since then, his next season was a storm, getting a 7.1 average match rating with six assists and one goal and then he started this season with a bang so hopefully when we see him at his maximum he'll be doing far better than this so considering he's only at 140 here when we get him to 170 which is his maximum I think we're going to be looking at an amazing player so with that being said I'm not going to waste too much more time let's skip a few years into the future to see what this guy could become in your saves so many years have passed now we're in 2031 Della Vibora is in his prime and he has became a top draw player and just before I show you him I just like to let you guys know I do have my own channel linked in the description I do football manager let's play stuff over there so we have a series going with Wolfsburg as well as a few rebuild videos if you want to check that out I'd greatly appreciate it and if you can hit the subscribe button that 
that would mean even more that yeah, they'll have a Bora. What a star he has became. Look how good this guy's attributes have turned out. Physically, he is immense now. Super quick, super agile, great balance, great natural fitness, great stamina, strong. Yes, he can't jump, but it's not the worst thing in the world when everything else is so good. And at five foot seven, probably wouldn't have done him much good anyway in the air. Mentally, he is super, super good. Like he has developed so well since we last saw him. Clearly the years of playing for Real Madrid's first team have took a toll and he has became a mental beast with nothing really lacking at all now. 17 decision-making and anticipation are some of his highlights as well as some good determination, work rate, teamwork positioning, off the ball. Even his leadership is now at a good level. So that's developed very nicely. And then technically he is so, so good. Remember I told you we'd eventually get him to a point where he could defend well. Well, we focused on his marking for a few years, focused on his tackling when we could as well. And now they are very well balanced with 14s and 15s alongside some great passing, technique, first touch, dribbling but most importantly that crossing at such a high level has made him so dangerous and he is just so good in the match engine now bear in mind i haven't put him on free kicks penalties or corners i've had a few of you say i should do that in these videos but i don't want to give you unrealistic versions of the player and the numbers that they get just to exaggerate it let's be real none of you in your saves are going to put Della Vibora on penalties on corners on free kicks with the attributes he's got here maybe you could argue corners because of his crossing but if his corner rating is that low chances are you're probably not going to pick him he's got 21 caps for the spanish national team with more to come i am sure as he's still only 28 years old here on 275 thousand pounds a week and value at one point he was valued at 100 million now as he gets on he's only valued at around 70 million pounds but that is still very very good um, and in game he has been absolutely smashing it we can see year after year season upon season he's been hitting very very good average match ratings and getting plenty of assists if we're purely looking on a league standpoint getting 11 assists in a few seasons here in a row doesn't score much but i wouldn't expect him to his technicals weren't really lent towards uh, scoring goals but everything else in terms of creating chances for his teammates must be at a very good level with all of these assists like i said i've actually got a simulation where he's 30 years old so let me just quickly swap over to that to see how he did in his other two years and there you go it's two more incredible seasons from him hitting a 7.3 and a 7.35 now into his 30s, De La Vibora, getting 10 assists, 5 assists, a couple of goals, player of the match awards. This guy has been everywhere for Real Madrid and has became a fan favourite over the years here at the club. If we look at his awards and what he has achieved, I don't think there's going to be anything too special in the team of the season. That's nice to see. I imagine there's a fair few of them in there. Real Madrid best 11s, that kind of thing. Not going to win a Ballon d'Or or anything like that. But he has done pretty well in his time here at Real Madrid and also with Spain, who have won the Nations League pretty much every year by the looks of it. I really do like this player and what he has became in this save. I think he's a top draw left back, one of the best options you can get for that minimum free release clause. Plus the fact that he's in Real Madrid's team and the chances are a lot of you will have Spain and the Spanish leagues loaded in your saves it makes him a very accessible option to the majority of you guys i think i'll give him an 8.5 out of 10 if i was looking purely at left backs and comparing to everyone else he might be a 10 because of his price point and how good he can become but i think he's awesome let me know your rating for him out of 10 down below like the video if you did enjoy subscribe for more check out my channel links in the description and most of all have a great day everyone i'll see you next time goodbye